tell you that these kinds of practices are not good for a Christian. But honey, I'm not satisfied with the butt God gave me. They need to be even larger than that. But you know, I like you like that. I don't understand why you want to change this wonderful, glorious body that God gave you at all costs. The thing is, I don't like myself the way I am. On top of that, all my childhood friends have already done their barrels. They all now have very nice buttocks. Nothing to do with the ones I currently have. I completely understand that you covet your girlfriend's barrels. But did you know that we can have similar results without necessarily going through surgical operations? First of all, you can start going to the gym and doing exercises to work your glutes. Of course it will take you a little more time, but in the end, you will have results similar to those of your friends. You'll have nice buttocks on your side too. Yes I know, but I don't have the patience to wait years and train in the gym to get such results. I want to have nice buttocks, right now. Without necessarily waiting long. Sincerely, you sorry me. I don't know what to say to you anymore to bring you back to your senses. What I don't understand about you is that, when you didn't have the means before, you didn't do this kind of thing. But since your business started to work just a little bit, you have radically changed the way you serve the Lord. You no longer have the same fear that you had for your Lord God before. Oh, that's not it. I always wanted to have surgeries, but I lacked the means. Today, thank God, I have a little more resources. So I prefer to take care of myself and correct everything that didn't fit perfectly on my body, in order to be even more attractive. In any case, may the Lord accompany you. Unfortunately I will no longer be able to support you in this kind of abomination. Let me tell you that if you don't support me, our relationship will end at the same time today. Because I will never accept that you do not support me, at a time like this. Okay, you know what? Give me time to think. I will give you an answer in the coming days. Alright. Oh God, I come before you with a sincere and urgent request. Lord, come to my help to convince my fiancé not to do this facelift to increase the roundness of her buttocks. Guide her heart and mind and grant her your divine wisdom so that she can make decisions according to your will. It is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Yea, I'm going to do my barrels. Yea, I'm going to do my barrels. I'm going to make sure that my butt is so big that no man can pass by me without admiring and lusting after me. I really like cosmetic surgery. The Lord sends me this morning to tell you to change your lives. For the kingdom of heaven is very near you. It also makes me want to talk to you about an important subject that is cosmetic surgery, barrels and facelift. You should know that as a Christian, it is essential to reflect on our actions and choices in light of God's word. The Bible recommends to us in the book of Psalm 139, verse 14 this, I praise you that I am such a wonderful creature. Your works are admirable and my soul recognizes it well. God created us uniquely and beautifully. Wanting to radically change our appearance can mean that we do not recognize this divine beauty. 1 Peter 3 verses 3 to 4 tells us, Do not have this outward adornment which consists of braided hair, or ornaments of gold, or fine clothing, but the inner adornment is hidden in the heart, the incorruptible purity, of a gentle and peaceful spirit, which is of great price before God. Outer beauty should never be our priority. God values what is within, our character, our love and our faith. Cosmetic surgery carries physical risks and emotional consequences. By seeking to transform our appearance, we can put our health at risk and create a dependence on the approval of others, rather than finding our worth in God. As young Christian women, we must inspire others through our confidence and acceptance of the way God created us. If a Science 2 verse 10 tells us this, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared in advance, that we should walk in them. We are called to great things, much more important than our physical appearance. So I encourage you to seek your value in God, and to remember that you are beautiful and precious in His eyes. Cultivate your inner beauty, because that is what truly shines, and inspires others. Be proud of who you are, as God created you. Take care and stay blessed. Your brother in Christ. But what is he saying over there? Who told you to come teach us about cosmetic surgery here? get out of here right away. It's not when I have to do my surgery, that you have to come and provide these people with teaching. 
take this as a warning madam. I had no idea that there was someone in this area who had to do cosmetic surgery. The Lord warns you against the barrels, and the facelift. Do not harden your heart to this teaching. Don't try to be like anyone. Be proud of the body God gave you. Because if he wanted you to be born with a big butt, he could do it. Do not seek to correct God. May God bless you abundantly. I have no lessons to learn from anyone. Keep your quick tips to yourself. I don't really give a damn. May God himself convince you. The reason I brought you here was just to tell you that last time when I was praying, I felt in my soul that something was going to happen during your surgery. Why did you bring me here to scare me and tell me your gossip? I have already decided to do my barrels. I had even already made an appointment for this operation. Yes I know but without lying to you, my mind does not accept this operation. It's not my problem. I just want you to come and help me the day. May the Lord reveal to you what I feel in my heart. I don't need this revelation. I just need to have really nice butts, that's all. Oh Jesus. Come and save me from the hand of this woman. Okay, I'm going to rest a little bit. That way tomorrow, I will go to the hospital to have my battles done. I am a messenger of God come to warn you and guide you. I was sent because your God has heard your thoughts and he knows that you are considering having cosmetic surgery. You know, your beauty is not defined by physical changes. God created you in his image with unique and precious beauty. Seeking to change your appearance so drastically could have serious consequences. Procedures like the ones you are considering carry high risks. Some people have lost their lives trying to change their appearance in this way. Your body is a sacred temple and it is important to treat it with respect and love. I understand messenger. But I just want to feel better about myself. You need to know that this feeling of well-being will not come from surgery. Seek peace and acceptance in yourself and in God. Spend time in prayer and ask the Lord to help you see your true value. Take care of yourself in a healthy and natural way. Self-satisfaction comes from within. Surround yourself with people who love you for who you are, not what you look like. Engage in activities that nourish your mind and heart. Remember that your worth does not depend on your outward appearance. Perfect. Remember that you are loved and precious in the eyes of God. Be true to yourself and embrace the beauty God has given you. Okay? Thank you very much for your intervention. Don't mention it. Be protected. Amen. But what was this dream that I had just had? Who is this man who just spoke to me in my sleep? He thinks it's his words that will discourage me? No way. Because I'm really determined to put my past behind me. I want to give myself a nice butt again, to seduce and look hot. No one will be able to stop me again. See you tomorrow morning for my barrels. Okay, we'll get started soon. All our doctors and specialists are already ready. Okay doctor, I can't wait to see the results. Okay that works. If everything goes well normally in three hours, it will already be completed. Okay that works. Make yourself quietly comfortable. Because it won't be long before it starts. Okay doctor. I hope everything goes well for you. I hope so, darling. In any case, may the good Lord help you. Amen, thank you very much, my angel. Cool, so let's see you later? Yes, see you soon. It's time I went and told this gentleman that his wife couldn't support the anesthesia. What happened with my wife? I've been waiting in this room for more than five hours. However, I have no news yet. The surgeon told me, however, that the operation would only last two hours. Oh. There he is, he arrives. How is my wife? Why did the operation last like this? The operation went well, sir. Great. Except your wife couldn't handle the anesthesia. What? We did everything we could to resuscitate her but it was already too late. No, no. It is not possible. I refuse this in the name of Jesus. courage to you sir my wife can't leave like this I need to call my pastor to come and pray for her maybe the Lord will do a great miracle okay let's try because you never know oh pastor 
Please pray that my wife can wake up. I'm sorry my son. I can't do anything for her. God gave, and God has taken away. Tell me why did you agree to have your wife do barrels, that is, cosmetic surgery? Without lying to you pastor, I had refused basically. However, she insisted so much, and even gave me an ultimatum. So I had no choice but to accompany him to this hospital. If I knew, I would not agree to accompany her in this process. How am I going to tell my in-laws that their daughter has passed away? Have you forgotten that I had advised against this all the time in the assembly? Don't you know that it is a terrible sin to want to distort the body that God gave us? Let me tell you that all people who resort to this practice bring upon themselves the wrath of God, as it is written in James 4 verse 4. And in 1 John 2 verse 15. You know, it is written, in the book of Roman 9, verse 20 this. O man, who are you to argue with God? Shall the clay vessel say to him who formed it, Why have you made me thus? Come on, now go take the necessary steps. As for me, I'm going to worship. All right. As I told you dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is what happened to our sister. Wow. I can't believe this sister went from life to death like that. What hurts me the most is that I've always banned it here. I will take this opportunity again, to encourage you to be proud of the beautiful body that God has given you. Never be self-conscious about your physique or your beauty. Because God knows why he created you this way. Don't worry about wanting to look like the beauty standards offered by today's society. Be proud of yourself. And surround yourself with those who know how to appreciate you. Pray to God, so that he fills you with his love and grace, so that you never lack confidence in yourself, and that you are never vulnerable to the judgment and gaze of others. Above all, do not try to please this world. Because this world is moving towards its end. Instead, cling to God and obey his word. And from there you will see how God will deal with your life. Dwell in the peace of the Lord, and be abundantly blessed, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. And thank you very much for your message. No problem, sister. Dear friends, let's think for a moment about cosmetic surgery and our Christian faith. True beauty comes from within, from our character and our heart. Let us be grateful for the unique body that God has given us. Before deciding on an intervention, let us examine our motives and seek divine wisdom through prayer. Let us remember that our value lies in Christ, not in our outward appearance. May God guide you and bless you abundantly. And there you go my brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you liked this video, don't hesitate to like it, comment on it and share it with those around you, so that just one soul can be saved and restored. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. May God bless you and keep you. Will I 